going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Score Golf just released the uh, top 100 golf courses in Canada. And we've been fortunate enough to have played 10 of those courses. And as a result, I figured this is a perfect opportunity to make a top 10 YouTube video list of the courses we have played on our channel. I've linked all the videos below, so be sure to go check those out. But we're gonna walk through the score golf rankings, my personal rankings in terms of the courses that we have played and filmed. Now there are some courses that would easily be in the top 10, like Victoria Golf Club that we have not filmed at yet. So this list is sure to be adapted over time. We'll start with this. I would love to hear if you agree, disagree, and, and also please keep in mind that conditions on courses vary year to year. Um, these reviews are based on the conditions of that individual course when I played it and thankfully I've been fortunate enough to play pretty much every single one of these courses in their purest form. So um, yeah, let's jump in and uh, I hope you enjoy this video and let me know what you think. If you agree, disagree, let's get some conversations going in the comments here. Number 96 on the score golf list is Kananaskis Country Mount Lorette. I have not played the kid course. That one uh, was reviewed better than Lorette, uh, but we've, we've played and filmed at Lorette. Very fun track, a little more flat than typical mountain golf. Beautiful views, challenging, it's super long. Um, you've got some really good tee segments. The conditions were extremely pure. It was a bit windy the day we played there, but uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed Kananaskis Mount Lorette. So, in my top 10 list of videos we have filmed at, it kind of rides that parallel line with the 96 at Score Golf. For me, it's number nine out of 10. Up next, we've got the Predator course at Predator Ridge, ranked 90th from Score Golf. This is a player's golf course. You've got Fescue, uh, it's par 71. You have to play some very good target golf here. There's a lot of undulation, um, but a ton of fun playing here. Predator is one of the best golf resorts in all of Canada, I would say. Uh, quite confidently and uh, this course is a ton of fun if you get the opportunity to play it. I also live in Kelowna so if you are playing here let me know and would love to love to link up. So for my review I have it just under Mount Lorette at number eight. So so far we're kind of riding that parallel line. Lorette, Pred and for my reviews Lorette at nine, Pred at eight. Up next we've got Talking Rock at 62 on Score Golf top 100. This is the first time Talking Rock has breached that 100, that top 100 list, and it is so well deserved. It's one of the courses I look forward to the most playing. I absolutely love playing there. There are no bad golf holes. The conditions, the setting, um, you know, if you have a chance to play in the Dad Bog Classic, the most fun golf event I've ever been in. Um, you know, everything about this place is it's, it's golf, like it's so much fun. I believe they have plans to make an executive course as well, which is awesome to see. Um, for Talking Rock, we're skipping up an extra and we're, we're putting that one at number six. So Talking Rock is the sixth place for me in my top 10 list. Such a pure course and every chance I get, I am playing there. Up next, we got Tower Ranch, 59 and uh, yeah, Tower here in Kelowna, the only Kelowna course to crack the top 100, which is uh, great to see, you know, representing the city well. You've got stunning views of the Okanagan Valley. Um, it's a very similar style course to the Predator course. However, I personally prefer the Predator course. And you've played in dry conditions. The ball rolls forever. It's mountain golf. It's very challenging. Tower is actually coming in for me at number 11 which means we've got a non-100 course cracking that top 10 that we have filmed that. So stay tuned for what that course is. But um, yeah, I mean, for me, any course that's in the top 20 is obviously a really good golf course. If you're coming to Kelowna, it's, uh, yeah, it's the best golf course in Kelowna. Simple as that. Now below Tower Ranch, we've got Big Sky at 42. The best views in any golf course in Canada, in my opinion. The course is very flat, so don't expect to have mountain golf. There's really no elevation changes. If you play it in peak conditions, it's probably one of the best condition courses you'll ever play because it's so it's such a moist environment. I believe there's water on every single hole. 
the setting is serene. Um, it's, it's a really good course. I grew up playing it quite a bit on different golf trips, so there is that sentimental value. So for that reason, Big Sky is coming in at number four. Um, yeah, it's one of my all-time favorite golf courses, so an easy top five for me. Next, we've got Predator Ridge, the Ridge course, 32. You've got the Pred and Ridge, two resort courses, both 18 holes. Ridge is a par 72. Um, most favorable, as you can see by the lower rating. Uh, or the better rating, I should say. And Pred comes in for me at number three. Once again, similar to Talking Rock, there are no bad holes. Um, it's mountain golf, a lot of elevation changes. You've got rock features, which make it super unique. And yeah, lake views, mountain views, every hole is super unique on this course as well. No two holes are the same, which definitely ups my ranking. And it has really good playability. I can't imagine anybody's gonna go play that course ever and not like it or not speak highly of it. So the Ridge for me, number three on the top 10 list. Great job, Predator Ridge Resort. Now, just below Predator Ridge Resort, we've got Stewart Creek. Yeah, Stewart Creek, they've been so good to me over the years. I've got another shot for shot vlog coming from Stewart Creek that I just played earlier this year. This place is one of the best mountain courses in Canada. So much fun playing there. I absolutely love it. And uh, so Stewart Creek is coming in just below Talking Rock at number seven for me. And uh, yeah, it plays very similarly to the Ridge. I thought they were the same course designer, but they're not. Um, but yeah, there is definitely some similarities in terms of the elevation changes. Stunning mountain views. I would say it's uh, Canmore's best golf course and I do prefer it over Kananaskis. Yeah, pure mountain golf, 30 score golf, number seven in the top 10 list. Once again, you could probably flip any of these courses within my top 20 and they are all very, very good golf courses. So if you have a chance to play any of these, highly recommend it. 26, you've got Tobiano, the, uh, the desert course experience, similar to Tower Ranch similar to Predator at Predator Ridge Resort. Those are the kind of the three desert fescue courses that you can kind of draw parallels to throughout British Columbia here. I throw Tobiano in at number five, so it cracks the top five. It is just below Big Sky. That's more out of personal preference, but you really can't go wrong with Tobiano. A lot of people would probably put it as their number one in Canada, and I would not argue with that because it is perfectly conditioned, you've got firm greens, the bunkers are all so good, and uh, you know, lush tee boxes, lush fairways, thick golden fescue, of course the views, and uh, a lot of unique golf holes as well, some fun carries there, and it's reasonably playable. So like, if you play the appropriate tee boxes for your handicap, you are going to shoot a good score there, I believe. Yeah, Tobiano, number five. Love it. Two left, Grey Wolf and Sagebrush. Where are they gonna land? Grey Wolf is 18 on Canada Top 100 list, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's obviously a public course, so is Sagebrush, so to have those two in the top 20 is uh, representing BC well, I think. And Grey Wolf is my number one. It's the best mountain golf course I've ever played. There are so many good golf holes. It's very playable. I would love to play it more. I've only played it once and filmed with Tanner. We uh, had so much fun. Yeah, it, I mean, I played it in really pure conditions and was absolutely blown away. The views are insane, but even if you remove all of the mountains around and you just look at each individual golf hole, and the way that it's designed, it's uh, it's really an astonishing, impressive display of golf. So, Grey Wolf is my favorite golf course um, across the board that I've ever played. So there you have it. And finally, you've got Sagebrush in at 13 on Score Golf, number two in my top 10 list. It's very close to Grey Wolf. Unfortunately, Sagebrush's conditions just aren't quite there yet because this is its second year, last year was a soft launch, so this is really its first official year. Um, but once they get those conditions to that you know, peak performance with the sandy bunkers and everything, it's gonna be right up there as one of the best in, in the world. Um, the crazy thing with Sagebrush is it's without a doubt, like hands down, the most unique golf experience I've ever had. They call it a boutique golf experience. 
you're never gonna play anything like it. You've got the hideout with fishing. You've got, you know, tee boxes that don't have individual tee stakes, so you can actually, the winner of the previous hole gets to choose where they tee off. It's an all-inclusive style, so you book it for the day, you play unlimited golf, you can skip. If you like a hole, you can go back and replay it. There's limited golfers, so it feels like you are the only one on the course when you're there. Um, and it's not, it's literally not like anything you're ever gonna play. You've got extremely wide, you know, Scottish-like fairways that are in a mountain golf setting with lake views and mountain views, elevation changes, and then those fairways that are super wide run straight into the fescue. You've got about two feet of rough on either side. So if you do not hit the fairway, you do not find your ball. It's as simple as that. Thankfully, they're nice and wide, but uh, man, is it a fun place to go. Yeah, just cannot get enough of sagebrush. Now, the mystery course that did not crack the top 100, but is in my top 10, number 10, Wildstone Golf Club out of Cranbrook, British Columbia. One of my all-time favorite courses. It's top 10, easy for me. And uh, I just snuck it in right before Tower Ranch because I, uh, I think if I had to be a member at any course right now, regardless of where, obviously I'm living in Kelowna, I would probably choose to be a member at Wildstone. It is such a fun golf course, amazing layout. Last year, it was the best condi course conditions I played all season long. And that, for that reason, we've got Wildstone in at number 10, which did not crack the top 100. But uh, yeah, it's my number 10. I love that course. And finally, honorable mention goes to my home course here in Kelowna, Gallagher's Canyon. I'm sad it didn't quite make the top 100, but I would say it's uh, easy top 125 in all of Canada. Although I, of course, haven't played all of those courses. And uh, so far this year, I've played a lot of great golf courses. Gallagher's is the best condition course I have played as of yet. A very challenging, fun layout. Love being a member here. And if you're ever headed to Kelowna, give me a shout. Would love to uh, get you out for a round at Gallagher's. Um, so yeah, there's my top 10 plus one, top 11 golf course list, make it 12 with Gallagher's. Based on Score Golf's recent top 100 rankings, I don't necessarily agree with the exact arrangement, but who does, right? Everybody has their own perception, their own views of uh, what they prefer. So this is completely subjective. This is where I get excited about playing golf the most. And realistically, like I said, anything in my top 20, I'm beyond stoked to go and play. So thanks for watching and remember, you better be keeping the ball straight.